And good evening now. Thanks for being with us. Joined by South Carolina's weatherman Jim Gandy because we want to talk about a tropical system out there in the Atlantic that's been getting a lot of attention on social media. It is Florence. Once a hurricane, now a tropical storm. That's right. It may be a hurricane again before too long. That's right. And the big question tonight is what's going to happen with this storm? Is it going to affect South Carolina? There's been a lot of misinformation on social media, so we want to give you the facts of what's going on. First of all, the storm has been downgraded to a tropical storm. Its maximum sustained winds now at 70 miles per hour. It's moving west-northwest at 7 miles per hour, and the reason why it has weakened is because of wind shear in the upper atmosphere has been moving some of these thunderstorms away from the center, and so that's allowed it to weaken. Now, here's the forecast for this particular storm. They expect it to be a tropical storm for the next day or two and then start to strengthen, may even pick up a little speed as it passes south of Bermuda and then it could become a major hurricane once again. This is the forecast. Now, notice this cone here. It's just as likely to be here in five days as it is here. So that's a big spread. The reason for that spread is the computer models. This is what the computer models are telling us tonight. Pretty good uh, idea where it's going to go for the next five days. But notice the spread here over five days. A big spread. And one of the computer models yesterday had this storm going into South Carolina. Tonight it's got it a little different, but you need to understand what's going on because it's key to what's going to happen with this per particular storm. Here's that area of high pressure, which is off the east coast. Now, it's going to kind of drift around for the next uh, five days. Eventually, five days from now, it's going to set up to the northeast of Bermuda, and here's the hurricane. Now, here's the rub. This particular computer model makes a kind of jog back to the west, which pushes the hurricane into North Carolina before it turns more toward the north. That's the exception. Most of the computer models are set up the same way with this storm continuing on a westward track. This area of high pressure off the coast eventually sets up to the northeast of Bermuda. And five days from now, this is the American model. Here's that high pressure system. Here's the hurricane. The question is, it's going to turn north, but when? And will it be offshore or will it be onshore? It will depend on this area of high pressure. And this is one of the unknowns along with the hurricane because we haven't even flown into these systems yet. If we put this uh, into motion, notice that in the day six and seven of this computer forecast, it stays offshore, which is what we would like for it to happen. But we just don't know yet what's going to happen until we can fly the aircraft into the storm and get more information. That won't happen until Monday. So right now, anything beyond five days is speculative. But that's not the only th area of concern in the tropics. Tonight, we're watching two systems. This one that is about 500 miles west of Cape Verde Islands, the other one coming off of Africa. This one could develop over the next five days, but I think it's more likely to turn to the north. This one in the Atlantic is likely to develop and continue moving westward into the Caribbean because of what's happening up here with Florence. So there's a lot going on in the tropics uh. tonight. And it's not that we shouldn't be concerned here in South Carolina. Here in South Carolina, beginning Monday, right. they should start to see some swells from Florence, and that will increase the risk of riptides. And we'll know more early next week what's going to happen. With Absolutely. This. We already know, though, it's going to be hot and humid for Saturday's big game. 100% chance. <laughs> You'll have all those details later. Exactly. All right, Jim, thank you.